Good morning to all my YouTube fans. It's Garfield signing on. I want to just start off to say Merry Christmas to everyone and hope you have a wonderful day and uh, enjoy your Christmas and uh, many more Christmas happy memories to come. Second, I want to say uh, thanks to all the new subscribers that I've been getting. I want to say thanks to everyone who has been checking out my videos, leaving their comments and so forth and so on. Uh, I've been missing from YouTube for a minute because I haven't been feeling good lately. You know, I'm trying to hang in there. Um, but this is my system. <clears throat> Um, it is working, you know, as as is. Um, I've done just one change. Uh, I think it's about um, October. Last week in October, I think I just did one changes to my system here. As you know, I all have the uh, the Aura inverters for so many years doing grid tie. So what I did, I retired that unit took it out the system completely so it's no longer in service and I purchased the um, second LV2424 and I uh, moved the 3000 watts of panel that I had here and reconfigured everything on the roof to split the um, the, uh, the panels along among this and this and do some changes with the panel configuration in here as well um, I add a new clock to my uh, system right there. But apart from that, uh, I have no complaint, nothing negative here. Everything works fine. So this is my little man cave slash battery room. You know, I've been just in pain these last few months. When it's not the foot, it's, it's, it's the back. When it's not the back, it's the hip. Uh, it's just all over so I'm just trying to take it easy trying to cut back on the amount of work or load that I do at work when I come home these days from work I just you know take a shower and eat my dinner and go straight to bed these days I'm hitting the sack anyway from 7.30, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock um, I'm in bed trying to you know get some rest on the body got up this morning I'm in pain all over you know went to the doctor two days ago and he asked me what was I here for and I said to him to be honest I'd like to get a new body he laughed you know I'm just about burned out the mind is willing but uh, the body is just just can't go any further not that I'm old but just burnt out you know a uh, recommendation they have for me is to um, um, do exercise it's pretty hard when every time I turn or twist there's a pain in my back or in my hip or somewhere in my shoulder my ribs cage something the bottom of my feet in the evening time when I leave work it's like I'm walking on raw meat it's burning, it's on fire by the time I take my shoe off when I get home especially my right foot is all swollen, the foot bottom is swollen you know, but I'm hanging in there and asking the father not to take my life as yet because there's so many more to do I keep praying that I hope that I live to see 125, 130 years old. You know, I have a few uh, people who work with me and there's so much knowledge in my brain that I'm trying to pass on, you know, to them and likewise my kids. Yeah, but it's, it's not much of pain, you know. Um, but apart from that, um, my system is here. It's you know it's 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 working, um, working flawlessly. You no, know? you know no complaint. So as for the MPP um, solar, I'm off the chain. Um, that unit I bought it from um, what's that gentleman up there in Utah? 
not from Thailand like I got the first one but this gentleman right here and guys I'd, I highly recommend if you guys are interested in any more MPP solar unit buy it from the gentleman up there in Utah customer services two thumbs up two thumbs it's very helpful it's, it's off the chain you know don't worry about sending or purchasing anything from from Thailand just go you know straight to Utah up there and purchase whatever you want from him yeah but um little configuration where panels are concerned and arrangement of panel and make or maybe not necessarily make but type of panels so on my flex max 80 i got 1800 watts of monocrystalline pallen panels from renergy and on my um my sunny sky charge controller i have 1875 watts of um, LG panel all monocrystalline um, on this unit here I have 1940 watts of Canadian panels on this Canadian and some multi um, um, LG panel and on this one here I have um, 2,080 watts of all polycrystalline panel here from Renergy. So that's it. And my little fancy clock, clock that I put here. You know, my time, date, and uh, temperature. It's a little neat. Um, took a vacation in the Bahamas, and I've just purchased it on here. You push on that thing and it changes color as well. Uh, so it's pretty neat. So I bought this for my present. I was on a cruise line. But there, everything's the same, you know. Um, um, system works. You know, my little 24 volt fan, not 24 volt, 12 volt fan. This, you know, circulate the air in here. And my little work space bench here. And my little entertainment system that I have in here. And you all remember this power simple um, inverter that's sitting there. Those are my speaker in here. And my one of them first Chinese uh, power jack inverter. They're pretty good. Pretty good. I started out there. I'm keeping it still. Uh, but apart from that, everything is fine in my little man cave here. My little slash air, another old laptop that I used to use. It, it's also retired. And my little trinket box. That's my gold mine. What's in there? <laughs> Bunch of wires and cables and battery, uh, phone, phone chargers, little stuff. Telephone wires, charging cables for old cell phone and all those things. Little, little stuff. And this was an old TV stand that I used to use back in the days when I was in New York, when I uh, had my first apart apartment, me and the wife. I still keep it. And I was into sound system back in the days in cars. So, you know, everything is still sitting here. Don't use them anymore. That's a custom box from MTX. I have a Thunder, uh, MTX Thunder 9500 in that box. Back in the days, I paid a thousand dollars for this one 12 inch with the box. And I have this amplifier here for my car that I used to use. That's, um, um, I don't remember the name of this amplifier, but I paid a thousand dollars for it. And so on. And I took them out of the car and I gave the, gave the car to my aunt, uh, to my daughter. So, believe it or not, I still have my, um, 
my old my Ames inverter box when I purchased the Ames maybe about four or five years ago still sitting there and that's the box for the um, for the MPP solar and in here I still got the box for my flex max 80 but this is my little man cave <clears throat> and this is a washer I purchased a set of washer you know washer and dryer I refuse to throw this washer out the little plastic gauge thing in here that is supposed to move this agitator in here came apart you know <clears throat> I just went out and bought a new one I didn't even but it's, it's in good condition came with five years warranty and as soon as the warranty died the unit died but I'm not throwing it out it's still in perfect condition I'm gonna figure out how to fix the agitator piece inside here one day but yes um, youtubers um, um, that's my system here oh and I did earlier on this year or in the middle of this year I did as you know the Chevy volt batteries are the whole module is 16 kilowatt I did purchase two more kilowatt and add in this little space here so I have 18 kilowatt of Chevy Volt battery inside here. But apart from that, um, everything is working fine. <laughs> My uh, Nissan Leaf is, is is working fine. Everything just works, just works. You know, just works. Um, um, I did upgrade, you know, these wire to double two watt on these things. Um, I did upgrade these things. I didn't I, on this one though I just drop four gauge wire right here from my wire pile um, um, so both units are working in parallel with each other and this is the um, this is the master and that's the slave I mean to be honest I actually have this inverter on the off position I'm just using the panels to charge it because all the load is already in these things so it's not like I really needed a second um, um, pip inverter, but because I wanted to take this out of the system, I said, you know what, let me um, get one of these. So, I saw my Aurora, it's retired. In perfect working condition, but it's retired. You know? And it, it's, it's everything is good. Instead of, of, you know, in the winter time, as you know, when the sun is low, and I'm um, sending my power back to the grid with these at least these give me the flexibility to charge the batteries fully first and then any leftover power will um, go to the grid as for everything the house nothing turns off in here in terms of uh, battery the house is um, on battery 24 7 including the furnace is also running on battery 24 7 um, the only um, two items that are not on battery are my um, my um, um, 220 volts unit which would be the AC unit outside and my dryer closed dryer inside here those are the only two unit that are not on battery but Everything else, including my little entertainment system that I have in here. Um, all these are all on battery. Everything else is on battery. You know, so it's just what it is. You know, but like I say, I'm getting tired. You know, and praying to the Father day in and day out. You know, I want to live to see, you know, past 100 years old. That's my wish and that's my dream. You know, you guys know my Ford F-150. Um, I hardly drive it, don't even drive. It's a 2015. I think I only got 50,000 miles on it. You guys know my wife X5, so BMW X5 over there. That's a 01. I think we got 80,000 miles on it. You know, we're getting... We're just burnt out and just hoping for the best. Keep our fingers crossed, you know. 
I just my kids are in college and I'm just hoping I can make it through you know for them um, to finish college and everything and then I just quit working but guys I guess this video is getting too long um, um, my little junk pile on in here but I want to say best wishes to everyone and all the best for the new year and enjoy your um, your Christmas day keep safe keep out of trouble you know hug your family kiss them tell them you love them day in day out especially us fathers when it comes on to our sons hug your sons and tell them you love them day in day out um, Garfield son you know